so the script of the farewell is uh, beautiful, very beautiful, um, but uh, its scenery is magnificent too. So how did you work with your production designer for the missing scene? Um, yes, uh, you know, my cinematographer and me and my production designer, we all worked very closely as a collaborative team because um, the production and design and the camera frame, the framing, um, had to work together. You know, we have a lot of these very wide frames where we don't cut, you know, we, we do these like, um, oneers and so we were very specific about the color palette uh, and also the costume designer, Athena Wong, she worked very closely as well to make sure that the clothing and color pattern um, matched with the palette of, um, you know, the apartment or the wedding hall, banquet hall. And in a way, we were trying to do something that had an aesthetic, but also felt very natural and lived in. And so that can be very tricky, you know, where you want to have a color palette, but at the same time, it should feel um, lived in and, and not so organized. Um, but yeah, it, it was one of the best collaborations was working with these women. Uh, the story is very personal. And uh, even if someone did not to know that it's inspired by your life, uh, maybe he could guess uh, so. Was there a moment when all this intimacy with your life scared you? Um, I think the scariest part of telling a story that is so personal is uh, having to balance my responsibility to the film, which is to tell the truth, with the responsibility to my family, which is to protect them and to not hurt them and be respectful. And sometimes you can't do both. You can't be honest in the art and also protect your family. So I many, many times had to choose what was more important. And sometimes I would ask my parents to look at something and other times I would say, okay, no, I don't want your opinion. I have to do what's best for the film. And that push and pull was a struggle because every day I was worried that I was hurting somebody. And so the character of Papa Pina is you in the end, but what did she add to your main character and what did she put of herself in film? Yeah, I think that when I wrote Billy, of course it was based on my own journey, um, but when you know, I started to adapt it for the screen and, and working with Aquafina, I didn't want her to play me. I didn't want her to you know, try to talk like I talk or to behave like me or gesture like me or anything because I think that can that's very strange it's external you're then doing an imitation whereas instead I said just put yourself and your own experiences into this character and so feel what she would feel what you would feel in this moment um, so I would say that the emotional journey and the background of Billy is me but um, the presence um, of Billy is Aquafina, you know, the way she holds her body, her face, um, the way she might glance or look at somebody, that's all her. Thank you, your movie is wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, it's great to talk to you.